Hey guys, John V from Phone Arena here. You're watching our video comparison between the Motorola Droid Turbo and the Apple iPhone 6. So the Droid Turbo just landed recently and it's one beast of a smartphone, especially when you look at it from a specs point of view. It's pretty impressive what they put in there. But then they, we all know how the iPhone 6 has a very well-rounded appeal to it. The Droid Turbo is clearly the bigger, thicker, wider device between the two, whereas the iPhone 6, a lot more comfortable to hold in the hand because of its compact size. But nevertheless, the Droid Turbo just has that quality about it that if in the event you drop it, you know it's not gonna break just because of its choice of materials, whether it's the metalized glass fiber or the ballistic nylon that you choose. It just has a pretty overall solid feel that absorbs impacts better than the aluminum casing of the iPhone 6. The 5.2 inch Quad HD AMOLED display of the Droid Turbo is one of the sharpest out there, but it's ruined by its inaccurate color reproduction and also weak brightness output. While the not so sharp iPhone 6 has some very pleasing colors, pretty accurate at that and it's uh, far more potent with this brightness output so the detail advantage of course goes to the droid turbo it's super sharp very detailed you don't notice it when you're looking at both phones from from a normal distance but when we look at them very closely to one another we do notice it but at the same time we got to give apple credit just because it's able to produce the more accurate looking colors and it's quite visible outdoors as it currently stands, the Motorola Droid Turbo is running Android 4.4.4 KitKat, while the iPhone 6 is running iOS 8.1. Now, as far as the visuals, it just depends on which one you like. If you want something that's simple and easy, you're gonna like the look of iOS 8.1, which is evident here with the home screen, all the icons, it's very traditional, and makes good use out of all these cool layer designs and also translucency effects. But with uh, the Droid Turbo, it's a little bit more, more, more complete just because you have all the various widgets you could use to put up onto the home screen, which proves to be quite useful when you want to quickly glance at certain information. However, when it comes to features and functions, that's where Android separates and distances itself from iOS. Now, Droid Turbo not only benefits from the usual set of Android functionality and its tight ecosystem with Google services, but you also get the enhanced experiences from Motorola, such as Motor Voice, which allows us to uh, always interact with Google now by simply saying the launch phrase, and even things like Motor Display, which allows us to wave our hand over the display to wake it up so it can view some pertinent information. Whereas with the iOS 8.1 experience, it does bring forth several new enhanced features and it kind of brings it up to par into what we've been seeing with Android for a long time now. That includes things like third-party support for keyboards and you also have better enhanced um, spotlight functionality. But for the most part, it doesn't really go, go beyond what Android's doing. Superficially, there's no denying that these two handsets are super responsive and snappy with their performances. The Droid Turbo is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 chipset, a quad-core one, while the iPhone 6 uses Apple's own dual-core Apple A8 chips. Now, in terms of the uh, graphics performance though, due to the larger and also high resolution screen of the Droid Turbo, it seems to get impacted more. So it's not quite as smooth when you compare it to the results of the iPhone 6. But nevertheless, like I said, the two are pretty much responsive. Well, it's snap response it extends into other things. For example, the web surfing experience. You have very smooth navigational controls, fast page loads, but the experience is a little bit more ideal with the Droid Turbo just because of its larger and high resolution screen. When we look at their music players, so we don't say that one is greatly better than the other in terms of the visuals or functionality, but we do prefer the output of the iPhone 6's speaker a little bit better just because it's nice clarity and a little bit depth to it. As for watching videos, uh, there, this, there's no question about it. We prefer the Droid Turbo despite the inaccurate colors. Those saturated colors will really help to bring videos to come to life and really helps too that the screen's larger. Now comes the juicy part there, camera quality. The Droid Turbo comes with a 21 megapixel camera with an f2.0 aperture lens with it. Pretty beefy there, while the iPhone 6 only has an eight megapixel eyesight camera with an f2.2 aperture lens with sapphire protective glass on top of it. Now, as far as their camera apps are concerned, they're kind of similar to one another, very simplistic, very light when it comes to manual controls and shooting modes. Now, in terms of quality though, we gotta hand it to both handsets. They take some fantastic looking outdoor shots. The Droid 
Turbo in particular produced some rich detail, nicely balanced dynamic range and tone colors. Now the iPhone 6 has similar qualities, but it kind of falls short when it comes to details, but it does prove to be the better handset when it comes to lower lighting situations, just because there's more noise in the Droid Turbo shots. Now as far as uh, video recording, Droid Turbo benefits from having 4K video, but if we look at their 1080p videos, video quality, they're both shooting at 30 frames per second. We prefer the iPhone 6 more just because the Droid Turbo tends to be a little bit softer and the voices are subdued. Call quality is excellent with these two phones. So with the Droid Turbo, our only issue is with the earpiece. It's not only quiet for our taste, but at least voices do sound clear. On the other end line, sound quality is outstanding too, just because it's clear and crisp, which is aided by the four microphones on the handset. Now the iPhone 6 is still a great performer in this area, just because the earpiece is strong, same thing with the speakerphone, and voices are clear and distinct, even in noisy environments. When it comes to battery life, the Droid Turbo is king. It's packing along a beefy 3900 milliamp hour battery, which is exceptionally larger than the 1810 milliamp hour battery in the iPhone 6. And our battery benchmark test shows the true telling. It's because the iPhone 6 is able to only get roughly five hours and 22 minutes on our test, while the Droid Turbo puts out an outstanding 10 hours and 42 minutes. Now, both of these handsets are $200 with a two-year contract, so they're fighting in the same game and space. Go with the Droid Turbo if you want a phone that's gonna have exceptional battery life, all the power and advantages of Android and its customization. And of course, too, you have that Quad HD display. It really shines. Now, in contrast, you'll wanna go with the iPhone 6 if you prefer a more premium design, something more compact, lightweight, something simple and easy to use thanks to iOS 8. And of course, it takes some pretty good photos and videos as well. So if you guys want to learn more about either smartphone, you can check out our website, phonerena.com. John V, thanks for watching.